Hello, Zen West members and associates. Uh, a friend of mine, a Dharma friend of mine, a teacher named Jay Rinsen Week from Toledo, uh, started doing these Abbott's reports, uh, vid little videos that he uh, puts up for his members once a month. I thought it was a great idea. Uh, I don't want to bore you or take too much of your time, but I thought it was great, uh, just opportunity to connect. So just want to bring up a few things, let you know about what's going on. The first thing is I really want to bow with thanks. Um, we just completed our Q2 second quarter fundraising drive for Zen West. The target was uh, uncomfortably large for me and I was really concerned whether or not we'd be able to reach the target. But uh, uh, amazing contributions, amazing generosity from a huge number of our members and associates. So again, thank you so much. Uh, great to know that we have your support. Great to know we have your um, backing to keep doing what we're doing and sustaining the offerings that we make here at Zen West. Thank you so much. Um, I'm just back from Sashin. Uh, I was down in Seattle for a week for the spring session at Choboji with Genjo Osho. I uh, just want to really encourage people, if you have the opportunity, to go down and do session at Genjo's place in Seattle. It's a fantastic opportunity to experience intensive practice with a really experienced Zen teacher. So make use of it. We're uh, always welcoming people into um, officer roles, whether you're an associate or a member. Uh, if you're an associate, you're welcome. If you get yourself a black gi, you're welcome to join the Zendo team and learn how to do the roles, Jikijitsu and Shoji and Densu at the Tuesday sits. And if you're a member, to participate uh, on Sundays as well as Tuesdays, even to learn the roles for intensive practice. Taking uh, or making the commitment to being an officer is a great way to ensure that you yourself are getting to practice because um, we all know that when we're accountable, we're more likely to show up. And when we show up for ourselves, we show up for everybody else and it's a great way to support everybody else's practice. Um, the events team is also looking for uh, members, participants, as well as some leadership um, our team captain is uh, uh, needing to step back to take care of some business in life and we'd really uh, love to have another member step up to take responsibility for our events team. It's a huge thing to take on the events team and it's very important uh, because the events team is really responsible for a lot of the social activities, the events that bring more of the community together more than just our practitioners, but the families uh, and the, the associates and the broader community. Things like the Buddha's birthday, our fall harvest potluck, it's all run by the events team. And uh, if you'd like to contribute in that way, please let me know. A few things that are coming up soon are um, on April 24th and 25th, uh, we're going to be having a Zen weekend. It's actually going to be just from the evening of the 24th Friday to the evening of the 25th. So we'll close in the evening probably with a campfire. The idea behind it is really um, Zen camp is my vision. Um, the idea is so that people who are, it's open to everybody, not just members and associates. So anybody that you know that's curious about what we do, it's a great opportunity for them to experience it. People are welcome to come and camp here or else you're welcome to commute. Um, so we'll have some activities on Friday night. There'll be uh, sitting and chanting and some Samu work practice. We might take in a hike. Uh, we might have some discussion uh, uh, time. The idea is to really give a sampler in small doses. So there's not going to be hours and hours of sitting. There's not going to be hours and hours of chanting. There's going to be an opportunity to try everything, an opportunity to try the meal form. Um, but there's going to be lots of space to just enjoy the environment here and to enjoy what it is to uh, engage in a residential kind of practice retreat. 
So I hope that uh, you're welcome to come, and I hope to see as many of you there as I can, the more the merrier. Uh, and I think it's a great opportunity for everybody to connect through practice. The Times Calling is 10K is uh, Sunday, April 26th. We have a team, uh, Team Zen West. Registration for the teams closed yesterday. So if you didn't sign up for the team, uh, you're still welcome to sign up for the 10K. I'd be happy to walk with you. Uh, and if you didn't sign up for the team, it'd be great to have you out on the course cheering Team Zen West on if you have the time. Uh, hope to see you there. Sunday, April 26th. The Buddha's birthday celebration this year will be Sunday, May 3rd. Um, this is a big community event, and I know that a lot of people have been there over and over again. We don't vary what goes on there all that much. There's a piñata for the kids. I tell the story of the Buddha's birthday. But it is a great opportunity to reconnect with Sangha members that maybe you haven't seen for a while. And really, it's a great opportunity to see how our community has grown. It's also a great opportunity for us to showcase who we are as a community to people who may be interested in joining us, becoming a part of our Sangha. And so it's important that if you're able to make it, that you do come. Because it, it's only possible to show who we are as a community if we show up as a community. This year we're not having uh, Uminari Taiko. We're going to have some, uh, a classical guitarist, a close friend of the family here, uh, but she's also a, a highly trained uh, guitarist and teacher, classical guitarist, named Heather DeRome. So I hope to see you at Buddha's birthday. Uh, as I said, there'll be the piñata, there'll be the bathing of the baby Buddha, and of course there'll be uh, snacks and treats provided by you our members for each other so that we can share the time together. That's about all. Thanks for listening and I uh, hope to see you soon in the Zendo here at Kokizanji Red Flag Mountain Temple uh, or at Tuesday at UVic. Uh, look forward to hearing from you. Take care.